What's up, internet? Senior Whoopi here, driving vlog one three. Star date something February fourth. We are low on gas. Let's look at this. The gas light. Oh god. Okay. Gently. Yes. All right. We are on our way to Walmart gas station. Cause last time I was there, they had this uh, deal which was uh, buy three Dr. Pepper products, whatever, and you get 10 cents off per gallon. And if I fill my fucking truck or my car up with that, I'd save at least a gallon. Might be able to get some extra gas. So, here's hoping that they still have that. If not, I'm just gonna be like, well oh, fuck, and I'll just buy the gas. <laughs> I guess, uh, fucking, I'm gonna try and wake up early Thursday, get a haircut, go to the dentist, hopefully they can fix everything in a day, I can almost guarantee you that they won't though, it's gonna suck, I don't even want to know how much money it's gonna cost, if you know how much money it's gonna cost, and you feel like writing that in the comments section, go fuck yourself, don't do it. Nobody needs to know that information. I just know it's gonna be more money than I have. Let's just hope I'm still covered under uh, my father's insurance. Sun Super V. Tastes like a Capri Sun. Delicious. Yeah, actually, it tastes like those V8 drinks. The V8 Fusion drinks, which are really good. Probably better than this because it tastes more realistic. That just kind of tastes like juice flavored water or something. accidentally sold the rights to their game. How do you accidentally release the rights to your game? That just doesn't make any sense to me. That's like me saying I just accidentally released the rights to Senior Whoopi Gaming when I haven't even made my gaming channel yet. It's like, whoa, whoops. Unless somebody bought it from them and this is just a ruse. Because they know they're in a fucking shithole now. Watch Dogs was supposed to come out in November with all the consoles. And it's supposed to be uh, exclusive for a minute or two. Ah, oh, shit. I can already tell you we're probably going to go into traffic. This is going to suck. It's looking okay. Oh, no. He's putting his brake lights on. I see cars going slow, but they're not stopped. This is good signs. But yeah, Ubisoft, get your shit together. Make, uh, make games. Don't just procrastinate. That's what the gamers do. That's not your job. Your job is to work and give us games. And we pay you quite fucking handsomely for those games. Didn't have to stop at all in this construction zone today. What? What is this? An alternate universe? Where traffic flows like it's supposed to? This is amazing. Another thing, I didn't show you the time like I, I used to do, but it is 4.38. So, very limited on time. I was trying to uh, explain technology to my mother, which she took it quite well this time because she was trying to understand audiobooks, which she really likes books from all over the world and stuff like that. So, giving her 
her the chance to download books and just listen to them. It was really nice because that used to be just her favorite part of the library was the audiobooks. Turn. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, I need a haircut. I can't wait. We got 20 minutes. She was gonna stop in time either. <laughs> Came right up on the ass of that truck. It's hard for me to trust anybody driving when they have a Tinkerbell sticker on the back of their car. Something about that, like, love of Tinkerbell just means, like, I'm a terrible fucking driver. I don't know how it works out like that, but it always does. Stopping for a green light. Gah, uh, damn it. Let's go. Let's go. I need a fucking vacation. I swear, it's fucking difficult to get out of bed now. After starting the week off with a double truck and yesterday's truck being mediocre, really good at best, just still had to bust ass to get out of there at 10 o'clock at night. Fucking pissed me off. Can't wait till we have somebody new. We're supposed to be getting a fourth because unlike Lowe's regulations where we're supposed to have at least four people unloading a truck, we've been unloading with three people for at least at least three months and before that we had a whole month of just two people and I don't understand why they're doing this to me when I started back there they gave me like two months to get ready and then all of a sudden I was the team leader and I mean now after about five six months I know exactly what's going on and how to be the team leader but at the same time, I'm leading only two people in a job where I need three. So I don't know why it's coming down upon me that we're not getting the job done fast enough when we don't have our tools that we need. That tool being a fourth person. And get ready for noise because I'm about to get on Highway 26. It sounds like I'm driving on tile. I know. place where I almost got pulled over by a cop yesterday. If you want to watch that video, just, you know, check it out. It should be in the description if I can remember. Which, you know, I know I'm pretty good about that. Man, I got 15 minutes. So that's about how long it's going to take me to fill my car up with gas. Fuck.
haircut started having hair and then it's just like, yeah, I'll have long hair. Fuck haircuts. Let's just get a haircut whenever it's like way too long. Now, where I've had maybe like four haircuts in the last year, I'm just like, or not the last year, four haircuts in the last maybe four years, at least like one a year. Oh my god, we're using our brakes on the motorway. Please, please go kill yourself. Don't do this to me. He has uh, haircuts every so often. I'm just not used to it. There's hair in my face all the fucking time. And it's getting warm outside. It's probably about 40 degrees outside. Which feels like I took a trip to Florida all of a sudden when I walked outside. It's fucking amazing for it to be bearable at 40 degrees. I just know tonight when I get off work I'll be pissed off because it'll be like 30 degrees, 20 degrees or some shit. Left lane. Yes. But I've gotten into that habit of just like chopping all my hair off whenever it gets warm outside. Makes things a lot more bearable. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I think that's the first time I've ever yawned on a driving vlog. Oh my god. Just fucking go. There's somebody racing a... <laughs> that is like a 1989 Ford Festiva. That sounded like shit. For some reason I'm really thirsty for Dr. Pepper anyway, so I'm gonna enjoy the soda when I get it. But yeah, I'm a fat fuck. I will drink almost any soda except Mountain Dew. It just gets old. And it does not taste that good after the first few sips. Almost the same thing with Sprite. If you hand me a Sprite, I'll say thank you. But if I get the, choose, the choice to choose uh, my own drink, I'm not going to pick Sprite. Because uh, it just goes flat, like instantly. You open that soda and it's fucked. Trying to calculate how much money it's going to cost. So, American 20 ounce sodas are about two dollars if they're not trying to rip you the fuck off. And gasoline is 307, as I can see from the sign way up there on the hill. So that's mm, spend at least. A little under ten dollars on the sodas and have to spend the rest of the money on uh, fucking gasoline. Bitch beside me is bumping to some terrible music. Huh, that guy was using the dashboard to write something. He was, he was like leaning all up on his fucking dashboard like eh. he wasn't driving though so that's a good part. If he was driving, I'd stick my hand out the window and yell at him. That's just fucking stupid. And you're driving less than 20 feet away from my car. I will fucking kill you. God, whatever music she is listening to is getting on my nerves. I'm getting away from that. Biarch! Idiotic drivers, oh god. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Surprisingly clear up through here. I'm at the wild. 
Quality World. That's Walmart. I don't necessarily say I support Walmart, but I shop here. So, I mean, I guess I do. I don't like myself for doing it though. I really hate myself actually. But I have that aspect in a lot of the things I do. And a lot of the decisions I make that are fucking stupid. Which I'm trying to, what are you doing buddy? Pick your side. All right, here we go. Bing, bing. That's what you'd hear if we were in the 90s. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed Action Driving Blog 13. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, favorite, all that stiff. Well, and senior will be signing out. I'll see you all later. Ta-ra.